Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I'm going to teach you how to find the gradient of a second. Of course, there's a PDF file version on the description below for you to download. So you can work with me if you like. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. Let's say we have point A and B on this parabola here. Let's say point A. So X1, Y1. And this is point, let's say B here. So X2, Y2. So let's say a line passing through point A and B. Let me just draw this. And this line here called second. So to find the gradient of this second, which is the gradient of AB, remember we use rise over run. So the gradient of a point, so M is equal to rise over runs. So the rise is Y2 minus Y1 to find the distance from here to here. So Y2 minus y1 over the horizontal runs so the distance from this to this is x2 minus x1 so x2 minus x1 so that is the gradient between a and b example so we need to find the gradient of this second here which is P and Q to find the gradient of this. Now to find this gradient, it will give you the rate of change between point P and Q. Okay. So to find this gradient, remember we know the gradient formula M of PQ is equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So we know that this here x1 y1 okay which is naming convention that's all and this is x2 y2 and please note that we haven't got the uh, y2 yet we have the coordinate of x for point q but we haven't got the the y coordinate so we need to find the y coordinate for point q first okay so to work this out so we know the function is given it this so we let me just write this down so we know that f of x is given by x squared minus 4x plus 2. So therefore, f of 4, so that means the um, x value replaced with 4. So that will give me, so that is equal, 4 squared minus 4 lots of 4 plus 2. So 4 squared is 16, and 4 times 4 is 16, and plus 2. So 16 we cancel out. So this cancel with this. So leave with 2. So that is, is equal to 2. So therefore, the point Q is 4, 2. Now we just need to find the gradient of P and Q. That is the gradient of this second here. Okay, so this is the gradient we're after. This means that the gradient of PQ also is the rate of change between point P and Q. Okay, just remember that for me. So let me just quickly work that out. So M of PQ, so Y2 minus Y1. So Y2 in this case is 2. And minus Y1, which is negative 1. Over X2, which is 4 and minus x1, which is 1. So that will give me so 3 over 3. So that will give me 1. So therefore, the gradient of this second P and Q is 1. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi, I'm back. How do you go? 
So let me go through it with you, okay? Before I do that, please do not forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can help me to grow my channel. So let's get into it. So we know that we only have the X coordinates for both points, okay? So therefore, we need to find the Y coordinates first. So we have X is equal to 2. So this means that we need to find the Y coordinates. That means F of 2. So F of 2 is 2 power 3 minus 2. And 2 power 3 is 8. So 8 minus 2 is 6. So therefore, the point is 2, 6. So that is X1, Y1. Okay? So when X is equal to 2.1, so this means that F of 2.1 will give me 2.1 power of 3 minus 2. So that will give me... So we just go 2.1 power of 3 minus 2. So there you go. 7.261. So 7.261. So therefore, we have 2.1 and 7.261 so we just named this x1 y1 okay this is x2 y2 so now we just need to find the gradients of these two points so m is equal to we know that y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so that is equal to so the y2, 7.261 minus the y1, so which is 6, so minus 6, over x2, so x2 is 2.1, minus x1, so x1 is 2, so we just put that in the calculator. So now just go, fractions, answer, minus 6, over so 2.1 minus 2 otherwise you can just type over 0 0.1 so there you go so 12.61 there you go thank you so much for watching i hope you got it correct bye